Here we go again! Hello everybody, it's Gary Oldsie here and welcome to my review of Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Sideswipe, Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe. This is the brand new version of Sideswipe. I did miss out on the Dark of the Moon mold, which was released very, uh, very much before this one. This one was coming out, I was pretty excited for it. I like Sideswipe and Revenge of the Fallen, I thought his design was cool, he's a cool character. And I was pretty looking forward to getting this, you know, and there was hype around this figure. So I got him, and he's a Studio Series Deluxe Class figure. He is a Studio Series Deluxe Class figure, and you know what that means. Yeah, he's a fiddly, floppy mess that's really not very fun at all. So, let's get into this. Here is Studio Series Sideswipe, and the paintwork is absolutely beautiful on this guy. You can see they really knocked you out of the park with the paint here. Very nice silver right there. You got some red right there for the headlights on the torso right there. You got everything very nicely picked out. The, uh, the rims of the tires are silvered out, which is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, basically all of the car parts are, t are painted with silver right there, and yes, the entire car is folded up on the back. It's a Studio Series figure, so that's kind of to be expected at this point. Uh, you got some silver right there on the torso right there. Very nice, some silver right there. Everything is very nicely painted on this figure. Very very much so. Very nice overall. I, I've said very like four times in the past sentence. But yes, he is a definitely a, sw a very nice figure. And uh, I mean, like the, the paintwork in terms of look, he looks like Sideswipe from Revenge of the Fallen. He does. Um, now let's get into some of the issues with this guy. Not Once again, just like most Studio Series Deluxe Class figures, the issues are not in robot mode. The robot mode is fun. If you, the, the posing mode is good. You got 90 degree bend at the elbow right there. You got movement in the legs. You can get some double jointed bend right there in the knee, which is very nice. The feet, I actually used to have the original um, Sideswipe, the, the original Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe when I was a kid. I don't have it anymore because I destroyed it. I remember I destroyed it because it was, uh, that's a story for another time. Maybe I'll maybe I'll tell you guys that story, but it's a it's a story I it, yeah, I remember what happened. Um cuz it was actually fairly recently. It was a couple it was a couple months ago when it happened where I absolutely destroyed that thing. Um but I don't think this figure is more fun than the original one from what I remember, but the my original one had like been through the ringer and it was obscenely like floppy and loose and I didn't really care about it, especially since I knew this one was coming out. So yeah, that one has been destroyed and uh, thrown in the trash. Um, but I mean, he's really not that much of an improvement, although he is definitely an improvement in the feet because the old one couldn't stand up to save its life, not even a little bit, but this one, this one can stand up. This one actually can stand because of the way they've done the feet here, you can actually like angle these pieces around and it will allow him to uh, to get a much easier time standing up. And to show that, there you go, you can have him stand up fairly easily. Honestly, I would have never been able to do this with the old one. He would just fall over all the fucking time. So yeah, that is an improvement that this one has over the old one. Uh, but there you go, that's pretty much all there is to talk about with the robot mode. I mean, the detail is very nice. You can see the sculpt work right there. The head sculpt does look very nice. There is some, uh, some blue for the eyes right there. A little hard to see on my camera, but there is some blue picked out for the eyes right there. But overall, he does look pretty darn good overall, and I think the robot mode is is good. Now, accessory-wise, I actually think the accessories are pretty sweet with this figure because they definitely did not cheap out. You actually get two guns, you get two pistols for him, and you also get his two blades. So yeah, they definitely did not cheap out with the accessories on this guy. You can either have him hold these, you can give him a gun if you want to, and then ask for the blades. There's a tab right there, you can see it right right there, and that's just gonna slot into his hand right here. And it looks a little weird because you can clearly tell that it's not connected to the forearm, because in the movie, it's shot out of his forearm like that, like Predator style, but in the, but in here, it just attaches to his hand, and it's very obviously just attached to his hand. So yeah, it doesn't look the best, especially not as good as the old uh, Sideswipe, which had the uh, the things that it would like, the, I remember on the old Sideswipe figure, the arm had like the thing here, and then you could like spin them around, and it looked, and it looked like they actually came out of the forearms like that, but I'm not saying that that one was inherently better than this one because in that one he had the blades just like hanging off of the sides of his arms if you if you didn't have them like extended out. So it looked pretty bad in that way, but it was a little better than how this looks. But I think I do prefer this overall because it makes him look a lot cleaner when they're not there. Now, it is total parts forming though, because these are essential for the vehicle mode, but honestly I don't care because, spoiler alert, the vehicle mode is not very good on this figure. Um, but you do have uh, these, and if you want to store them, you can. It's extremely ugly, and I don't recommend it, but there are these, like, like slot things right here, and basically you can just take the swords here, and you can just stick them in there, and they do 
kind of hold in place, although it's giving me a hard time. Why are you giving me a hard time? Now, you know you're going to do that with the transformation, so why do we have to do that right now? But yes, you can destroy them right there. It looks absolutely awful. <laughs> so I have no idea why you'd want to ruin the figure by doing that. So me personally, I just leave these off. Um, and then as for the pistols, the pistols are actually kind of cool. I actually do like the pistols. I'm not going to lie to you. These are definitely my favorite accessories, which is sad because it's sight swipe. <laughs> but yeah, I do like the pistols a lot and they do look pretty cool in his hands. You can give them to him and you, and you get two of them, which is so yeah, you do get two of them, and you can give him uh, dual wield right there, so that's pretty cool, so you can recreate the uh, battle in Dark of the Moon if you want to, who cares that it's not the right vehicle mode, because you're never going to fucking transform this thing anyway, spoiler alert. Uh, but yeah, really, really neat little uh, gun accessories, honestly, I do like those. And the final thing to talk about with the guns is that you can store them in the, in the robot mode, it sucks and I hate it, but you can do it, there is a slot back here right there and you can just slide these in there and it's so ridiculously there's like no clearance whatsoever to get these in here you can see you have a tab right there and theoretically you should be able to tab that into there and I have been able to do it but it's like the absolute epitome of not fun and you can just get it in there if you can do it there we go and then you can kind of close it back down if you want to and it barely even works and I'm is am I even doing it right is it supposed to go on the other way I think it might actually I think I, yeah I think I was doing it wrong okay I was doing it wrong in the figures defense it's supposed to go on that way so the way they have to go on is they have to be is they have to go on like this this side needs to be pushing against the body and I had I, I was doing it the other way so in the figures defense in the figures defense I was doing it wrong right there and it is a little bit easier if you just if you actually you know do it right but you can just get those in there it's still not very fun and it's still quite cluttered back here but because it's the entire car mode folded up on his back like like every studio series deluxe but yeah you can store the guns you can see they're stored back there so that's a little nice and they definitely look a lot nicer than the blades stored on him so there you go that's just about everything to talk about with the robot mode i'll give you guys some comparisons now for comparison, the first comparison I want to do is I want to compare this guy with Studio Series Jazz. Because Studio Series Deluxe Class Jazz is, in my opinion, one of the very few Bayverse Studio Series Deluxes that is actually genuinely fun to transform and has a really good alt mode. This figure is basically what I wish this figure was like. Because, uh, yeah, so there they are together. They look pretty good. Here's another one that I think is a great Studio Series Deluxe, and that is Leadfoot. These are probably two of my absolute favorite Studio Series Deluxes. So, yeah, there you go. Just to prove to you that it is not impossible to make a Studio Series Deluxe actually fun to transform and enjoy. So, there you have that. Here he is with Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee. They actually do look pretty good together. Like I said, he will look great on your shelf. If that's what you want him for, he will look great on your shelf as just a, uh, a Baver Sideswipe. So if you want a Baver Sideswipe, he will do great in that regard. But just never, never, ever transform him. And last but not least, here he is with Optimus. So there you go. There you have your comparisons for Studio Series Sideswipe. Actually, you know what? We, we, we absolutely cannot leave out one more here. Just for fun with G1 Sideswipe. Just so you can see the 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 filter of Babers right there. Just so you can see it. Just because, I don't know. It's just a little fun. And we'll jump into the transformation. And this transformation is so unfun. Like, it's not even... It's not, like, hellish, like, the experience of transforming, like, Studio Series Dropkick or VW Bumblebee. But it's just not fun. There is not one step of this transformation that is fun or satisfying. The whole thing is just a way to get from point A to point B. And there's nothing to highlight at all. It's, it's not a good transformation, but here it is. Alrighty, transformation for sideswipe. Now, you can store the pistols in, uh, in him and transform into his all mode, uh, but honestly, good fucking luck getting them to stay in there, go through this transformation. So, let's get into this. So, first off, you want to flip the hands in just like so, just like that. You want to come here, you want to fold these out, and then you want to bring these kind of around like that. I can never, what in the fuck? You're already pissing me off, dude. You're already pissing me off. But actually, no, it goes like that. And then you bring this piece back, and then you fold this piece in like that, and then you do the same thing on this side. So, you bring this piece around, you get this like this, and then you fold this piece up like that, very similar to the old figure, and then you fold that up, and you peg those together just like that. And you come to the back here, and, uh, in theory, you have to unfold all this. It's extremely tight and not fun at all, and you have to do this. I've already done this transformation once in the past hour, so, yeah, I'm not really, not, yeah, I'm not the mood. <laughs> fold this piece out on this gigantic armature right there. You want to fold this whole thing out like this. Bring this piece in and it will clip in place just like that. Uh, you want to bring it this section right here. This whole thing is just going to untab from here like that. And you want to fold this piece up and now you have to begin the arduous task of getting all of this kibble out of the way so that you can transform this thing. And you got to get all of this out of the way. These are on ball joints and they like to pop off a lot, but hopefully they won't this time. And you have to bring this down. You have to get this all the way down like that. And you have to get this all like scrunch this up in this little section right here just like that and get that in there. And hopefully have it all tab in place like that. And then you can start kind of containing the chaos a little bit. Uh, you can kind of fold this piece in and it will kind of tab in place like there and get that going there. And then you can tab this piece into right there and then do the same thing on this side like that and get all that tabbed in. And then these pieces will in theory tab in place right here, although they hold in with basically the memory of hope. And then you bring these pieces in, bring these arm pieces down and you can fold these up. That's kind of similar to how the um, old figure works like that. So you can just fold those up like that and it'll flip them back around and finish off this shit show. 
like that, and that, like, this transformation's not complicated, like, like I said, this transformation's not complicated, like, a uh, dropkick, it's not, like, super, like, devilish, like, hellish, but it's just, like, you do that, you look at that transformation and tell me that, like, a fun and enjoyable process that you'd like to live over, you'd like to relive over and over again, man, fucking try and tell me that, um, but to finish this off, you just take these, and in theory, you tab these into the side here, and they will finish up the alt mode, but these will hold on with, like, the absolute, like, these, these barely even hold in here, so you can just stick these in here, just like that, on either side, and get that tabbed in right there, and do the same thing on this side, like that, and if you see, this one doesn't even fucking want to tab in, come on, man, come on, oh my lord, these pieces suck, uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about those in just a second here, but there is the alt mode. Yeah. Yeah, it's really bad. It's really, really bad. Like, take it away, future me. So yeah, that's the transformation. That should speak for itself. Uh, and here's the alt mode. The alt mode sucks. Like, it, it's really, really bad. Um, it, it is a, it's the Corvette. It literally cannot roll. There is no rolling this figure. He, well, I mean, I, the back ones roll, but these front ones, literally, there is not even a memory of clearance for these to roll. You can literally see the plastic jutting up over the wheel. It, yeah, so he doesn't roll. Um, these parts forming pieces on the side there, because yeah, he's a parts former just to uh, top it off. These pieces barely stay on, if you see there. These just pop right off. They are not good at all. The whole thing is so panely and so ugly looking. Like you can tell from looking at this thing for a split second that it transforms and it doesn't look good at all. Some of the paint works nice. They did hit the Corvette logo right there, which is pretty cool. Some paint work up there, but I mean like... So put those things back on, you can see how that looks like shit. You look at the side of this car, and it literally looks like it's trying to burst at the seams on both sides. There is, it is so clearly a transformer, and it doesn't even look good as a car. It honestly is so squished, and there's no playability because it doesn't roll. Car mode sucks, and yeah, it's bad. And it kind of takes, like, cues from the original figure's transformations. The way the arms work is very similar, and everything else, but it's just so much less fun. I remember the old figure was actually fun to transform. I remember I transformed that thing a lot as a kid. This thing, after this review, this thing is never going to get transformed ever again. It is not worth it. The transformation is so unfun, and the vehicle mode sucks. Like, yeah, whatever. Here's some comparisons. You can get a good sense of how he scales in the car mode. Here he is with some various figures right here. We got Core Class Bumblebee right there, Deluxe Class Mirage, Deluxe Class Sideswipe, a different Sideswipe. So yeah, there's the there's the G1 to Bayverse comparison right there for what it's worth. Uh, so yeah, that's how he scales with a uh, there, there there's a, a nice broad array of how he'll scale with uh, with some figures right there. So final thoughts on Studio Series Sideswipe. He's um he's a Studio Series Deluxe. Like his robot mode is great. His transformation sucks, and his alt mode is honestly worse than 99% of other Studio Series Deluxes. So in that regard, he's even a little worse than Studio Series Deluxes. I don't like him. I don't like this figure. Uh, he's flimsy. He's floppy. His robot mode doesn't hold together very well. His car mode holds together like absolute garbage. His transformation is not even slightly enjoyable. Not even a little bit. I will never be ever transforming this figure ever again. You can almost guarantee that. The alt mode sucks, the paint works good, the accessories are good, like, he's a fun enough figure to pose around and get him in some cool poses, and if you need a sideswipe for your collection and you don't plan on really messing with him all that much, he'll do fine. But once again, just like every single Studio Series Deluxe I've ever reviewed, he's a fiddly, floppy fucking mess, man. Hasbro needs to get their shit together when it comes to these Bayverse movie deluxes, man. Because, like, the, the Studio Series Bumblebee Wheeljack that's coming out, that thing looks awesome. And I'm super excited to get it. It looks like it's going to be a super fun figure. I can't wait to get that thing. This figure, this is just a fucking... It, it's The robot mode is great. Like, every Studio Series Deluxe. Like, let's bring in another example here. Bring me... Bring me an example here. Here we go. Dropkick is the absolute, a perfect example of this. These two figures, great robot modes, but the transformation is just so unfun. There's nothing fun about these figures, man. And, uh, well, about their transformations. And, you know, it's a transformer, dude. It's supposed to be a, a, an action figure, a puzzle box, and a toy car or a toy vehicle. It's three toys in one. That's why transformers are so great. This is just an action figure to me, because for me, I will never ever put myself through the misery of transforming this thing to get it into one of the absolute most garbage fucking alt modes I've ever seen. It barely even holds together. So yeah, final thoughts on Sideswipe. 
Man, if you want a sideswipe, he, he's 20 bucks. He'll, he'll be your sideswipe for your collection if you really gotta have one. He was a really cool character in Revenge of the Fallen, so, and Dark of the Moon as well. He was a good character in the movies, like, definitely, and I definitely, that's why I wanted him for my collection. But the figure is a total miss. Like, it, it's not a good, it's not a good Transformer figure, and honestly, if you got the old one, you're probably better off just sticking with that one, honestly, because this figure is so fiddly and... I don't know, for me, as him, for him just being a sideswipe on my shelf, he'll do fine. I won't get rid of him or anything, because he'll look good just standing there on my shelf, but that's my honest opinion. You guys know I only give you my honest opinions on this channel, and I just don't like that figure. Like, straight up, I just do not like that figure. I, I got him out of the box, and I was immediately like, he's another Studio Series Deluxe, and he has not fixed just about anything. Honestly, he's even a little bit worse, because... I mean, I can get over, I mean, I, I can't, no, I can't, um, you know, a, a garbage tier transformation, you know, that's run of the mill for Studio Series, but usually it results in a good alt mode, he doesn't even have a good alt mode, so, yeah, there you have it, everybody, hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below, um, I don't know, I just, I just don't like that figure, so, thanks for watching, everybody, this is the Guy Guillotine, signing out. Forgot the ranking, uh, his ranking is B tier, B tier, B for sideswipe, you know, it's... Robot mode's good, good accessories, fun to pose around, transformation in all modes suck ass. So yeah, B tier for this figure overall. Um, there you go. Sorry for a pretty negative review, but I just don't like that figure, man. I'm <laughs> sorry. I did not like him the second I got him out of the packaging, so yeah, sorry. I'm not gonna fucking sit here and pretend like I love the figure if I don't love it. So yeah, there you go.